Hey everybody, I'm Ebony. This is Ebony's Creativity. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Today what I'll be doing is another installment of my series called Can I DIY It? And that is where I take either high-end items and try to recreate them for very cheap or where I do very inexpensive home repairs. Um, today's video is going to be one of the high-end items done for cheap. So if you want to see how I recreate this wall decor that I found on the Ashley website, then please just keep right on watching. One day I was cruising the internet like I usually do and I saw this wall decor. I thought it was really beautiful and I have the perfect space to put it. But for the $200 price point, I said to myself, no ma'am, I know I can DIY this for under 10 bucks and that's what we're gonna do now. I'm starting out by showing you my supplies. I'm starting out, this is all scrap paint that I've had. You can use whatever colors that you have on hand. You will need gold leaf. Um, you can get these paints from Walmart for a dollar, but I'm just using whatever paint I have at the house. So that's why I have all different kinds of sizes and brands. This is about $2 worth of wood. Um, I have two 8.5 inch pieces, two 16.5 inch pieces, and a 24 inch piece, and some spool glue. You'll need a foam brush for each color that you have. You can use whatever colors match your decor. So I'm just going to go in with my main color, which to copy the Ashley decor is going to be gray. So, but again, you can use whatever color you have. I'm just going to go over with my gray paint and my roller and I am going to um, make sure I get the top, the sides, um, and the main front part. If you don't get every single inch, that's fine because you're going to be using the other paints to layer over it. But this is just me showing you how I painted mine. You can see I missed a couple areas, but it's totally fine. You can't tell on the finished product. If you're using a pretty thick paint, one coat is plenty. So after that dries, I'm coming back and I'm going in with my next color, which is gold for me. But like I said, you can use whatever color matches your decor or whatever you have on hand. And I have my iPad off to the side. So I think it's important to note that you should probably have a picture of the original image or you know if you want to freehand it you go ahead but since I'm trying to dupe the original wall decor item I'm going to try to get mine as close to theirs as possible so I'm using the same colors and I do have one foam brush per color and I'm just looking at the image and I'm kind of just going for it I'm trying to make mine look exactly like theirs but if it doesn't you know that's fine too so I'm just looking at the original image and I'm showing you here that I'm just kind of doing what I my interpretation of what the original is so you can try to do it exactly if that's a, what floats your boat or you can kind of freestyle it using what they have um, on the original as kind of inspiration and just letting your hand go whatever floats your boat but here I'm just using my gold and I'm just trying to kind of mimic what the original looks like so that's what you see me doing in the next few clips So now that I'm finishing up with the gold paint, I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. And then I'm going to go in next with my next color, which is my brown paint. And I'm pretty much going to do the same thing with the brown paint that I did with the gold paint. I have the image of the original wall decor that we're duping um, right next to me on my iPad. And I am just kind of going for it. I'm trying to get as close to the original as I can, but... You know, this is, everything is not always perfect, so I'm just kind of going for it, but still trying to follow what they've done. Um, I just have a little bit of paint on the very edge of my brush, 
because I don't want to go in too heavy. This brown is supposed to give more of like a distressed look than to be like an actual color, I think. So I'm just kind of using it sparingly. I have very little paint on my brush. And the areas where it did get a little bit too heavy handed, I would go back with the upper portion of the foam brush, which is uh, which has no paint on it, and I would kind of smear it out using that dry um, portion at the top. So just go for it. Do your thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's no real wrong way to do it. And just kind of smear it on as you can, as whatever feels right to your hand. And here I am finishing up my brown so I'm just showing you what that looks like as I'm kind of finishing it up and here is what they look like when it's completed next I'm going to mix my brown with a little bit of gold and kind of make another color that I can see in the original image and here is just solely me going for it I'm just mixing adding a little bit of brown in at a time until I achieve a perfect kind of goldy bronzy color and then I'm going to use that to just go back in and add some more paint And here's how these look as I'm finishing up with that step. So I did go in and add more paint. And what I did was just give myself an outline for where I would place my glue and my gold leaf. See like on this one right here, I'm modeling that one after this one and it has kind of a peak here and then kind of a peak on the top and I did the same thing a peak at the bottom and some peaks on the top and that'll give me a guide of where to put my Mod Podge like I mean I'm sorry my glue like girl this camera this one kind of comes down and back around and then I made this one come down and back around so I just kind of want to make it easier for myself because I don't think glue is the proper medium for um, gold leaf, but I don't have my podge right now. Or gold leaf adhesive. So hopefully that will help me out when I go to cover my gold leaf. Go cover it with my gold leaf, but this is how they look right now, and I'm just letting that dry. I'm not gonna add any more paint. I put some glue on my plate. Where the paint is dried up, I'm going to add literally a dab of, of water and try to thin it out so I can spread it easily. And stir that up. I'm going to put one more little dab of water. And I'm going to just put the glue, I probably have too much, I'm going to put a light layer of glue in my predetermined areas.
So as you can see, I have the glue on there. This gold leaf can get messy, so watch out for that. <laughs> and I'm just literally gonna pour it out the pack. Kind of like when you use glitter. But if yours is still in sheets, mine is kind of scratched from another job. I mean, not job, but another project. And so mine isn't in sheet form anymore. It's kind of in pieces, but. Literally, I'm gonna go through and stick it to the glue. and kind of brush the excess away. So let's see what I have. So that's what I have right now. And I'd like a little bit more. So basically I'm going to just go back in with another light layer of glue and redo the steps, kind of just sticking the gold leaf to the glue. And I'm going to repeat that for all five of my pieces, so that's what you'll be seeing in the next few clips. Just a light layer of glue, go light handed with the glue and with the gold leaf. You don't need to a big patch of gold leaf, you want to just kind of be light handed with it. And kind of just do it how you do glitter, put some on and shake the excess off. After that step is complete, you are pretty much finished with this DIY, but before I show you my final product, I wanted to just pop in and request that you subscribe to my channel. If you've done so already, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please also hit the thumbs up. If you did not like the video, hit the thumbs down and leave me a comment letting me know what I could have done to make it better. I'm still fairly new at this and I'm open to constructive criticism. So without further ado, here is my finished product. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think the final result turned out great and I'll definitely use these in my room. Um, I saved a lot of money by not buying them, so I'm pretty happy. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment and tell me how you think I did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. If you have the time, please select another video to watch from the choices on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.